They don't know that they're going to have to get out this way with the people. They don't know. No, but what he's saying is, some that way. I'm sorry. I wanted them to see you, see you too, too very much. And you got okay. You see how impossible it is. Yeah. I just want to, you know, can you make it back or can you stay? And it's all left in the air. Oh, oh yeah, it's a good way. Go ahead and close the downing now. Oh, oh, there. Okay. Yeah, I'm moving. Okay. I'm going to do the camera. I'm going to do the camera. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Michael, what uh, scenes will be taking place here at the Water Gardens? Well, the, the, the old man, played by Peter Ustinov, is being led back to the domed city by Logan and Jessica, played by Michael York and Jenny Agata, and they come to this great hydrogalvanic system that feeds the waters of the ocean into the, for the power of this city. And they leave him outside, and they bid him a farewell, and dive into the raging, boiling waters and come up inside the city in order to destroy it. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, a, a wonderful location for it because they're surrounded by, by surging waters and uh, uh, it's a very exciting location. Yes. As uh, a, the director of a film that's going into the 23rd century, what are some of the things that you have to be vitally concerned with? Uh, costumes. Um, uh, not only what they wear, but how they behave. But it's based on the kind of society they are. It's a pleasure-loving society. They have no animals, for instance. Uh, so you can't, you can't see them eating meat. Uh, they, they, there is no pollution. Uh, it's a life dedicated to total pleasure. Uh, there, are no, there is no family life. So when I, when, I, when I group people, I must not make sure there is no child together with a mother and father because families don't exist. Uh, are there paintings on the wall? What kind of music do they listen to? Are there ashtrays? No, they don't smoke. Um, a million and one questions that come up every single day and for which there is no normal answer. We have created the society completely from scratch out of all of our imaginations. One of the things that we've been hearing about, Michael, is the fact that this is the first time that holograms will have been used in a feature film. And it's a very complicated technical process, but uh, as I understand it, it's as if you're seeing 3D without the glasses. Is that right? It is 3D without the glasses. Of course, we are photographing it in two dimensions, so you will not necessarily get the full 3D effect. But what I can do with the camera using holograms has never been done on film before. I can move right through, an optic, right through with the camera, through an optical effect, round it. Uh, I can sh see people's faces through it. People can put their hands through it. It is a remarkable effect. Uh, it will add great stature to the film in the sequences we use it in, and it certainly hasn't been used before. How did, was it your idea to use this? I first thought of holograms and brought it up, and, but at the time we, we, uh, we, we thought of it, we couldn't find any that had been made. We found some static ones, and then we discovered in San Francisco that uh, somebody had made a breakthrough and had made a moving hologram uh, using laser beam uh, light to record it, 
and an ordinary light bulb to reproduce it. And it was a major breakthrough in, in, in holograms, and that's what we're using. Yes. Did you have to experiment quite a little before you could get the effect you wanted? We've experimented. We've handed it over to our own special effects people, and they have now uh, worked on and perfected a system uh, that is truly remarkable. What does this mean as far as the future of the film industry is concerned? I think that there will be hologram films within 10 years. Uh, you'll be able to see nine-inch miniature people running around your dining room table speaking and talking, and uh, it's a whole different form of entertainment. I say 10 years, who knows? It may be five, it may be 15, but it works. In other words, you don't have to have a screen or something visible to, on which to project the image? No, it's projected into space, but it's com it comes from a series of... Uh, uh, of images burnt into celluloid by laser beams and refracted light uh, refracts those images onto a surface of your choice. That's the theory of it. Uh, you must talk to my holographer. <laughs> <laughs>